Good morning guys and welcome back and welcome from the Great Sandy National Park at Rainbow Beach. Today we're driving two hours up north to Rainbow Beach to explore the beaches and the surrounding areas of Rainbow Beach and the Great Sandy National Park. Now we've taken a long weekend, we're staying in Airbnb, uh, just a short drive from Rainbow Beach Town. Uh, we'll be able to see the beach from there. So we signed into our Airbnb. Now if you guys want to stay at this Airbnb or any Airbnb, uh, to save a little bit of money on your next booking, click the link down below so you guys can save a little bit of money on your next booking. Now after we checked in, we decided to head out um, and ex explore some of the inland tracks um, of the Great Sandy National Park. Now there's multiple tracks you can take um, that vary length and also vary in school level as well. We took some of the tracks because I have my son sleeping in the back of the Jeep, but he seems to like some of the bumpy roads. Now the sign entering the track did say, if it has been raining, don't drive on the road. Now we took that as a bit of a challenge. So what we did, we headed down, some of the road was uh, flooded out, but because we're in a Jeep and we're in a four-wheel drive, what did we do? We, we hit the road and it wasn't as bad. Now most of the road is gravel, sand and dirt, which makes for a fun time. And it made it even better when it was raining and a little bit wet. Um, after we finished that track, we headed back to the Airbnb for the night. And the next day we got up early, uh, we headed to Skip Point, which is the point where you can catch the ferry to Fraser Island. Now the rain did set in a little bit, we uh, picked our times which made it a little bit easier to drive on the sand. Um, after it's been raining it makes the sand a little bit harder and a little bit more dense so you don't slide as much. But it's still a fun time driving on the beach. Uh, we headed from Inskip Point through the campsites uh, which were not as popular as we, as we thought. Uh, due to the coronavirus a lot of the campsites um, are restricted to certain numbers um, to keep the numbers down. I think it's about 100. So to be able to access the beach, you've got to buy a beach permit and you've also got to uh, get a COVID-19 uh, form. So they will limit the numbers of people on the beach, which is great. So uh, after going through the campsites, we headed onto the beach for a short drive. After we got off the beach, we headed to Rainbow Beach and Blowhole. Now it does go by another name, I'm not 100% sure of that, but Rainbow Beach, Blowhole, I, I've been to Rainbow Beach that many times, I've never known this place was here. Now it's only a short 15 minute walk or a five minute drive from Rainbow Beach Town.
We had an amazing time. I'd highly recommend checking out Rainbow Beach if you do have the opportunity. Would recommend taking some boogie boards or some surfboards to go down the sand dunes um, and make sure you book well in advance for your beach permits and your COVID-19 forms to be able to access the beach as well. Now there were ranges up the beach monitoring everybody's behaviour um, and checking permits as well. So do keep that in mind if you're heading up that way. But that's pretty much it for today guys. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.